Hey, it's Melissa Thompson with Cry Lake Realtors in your key to Memphis. And today I just want to talk about fireplace safety tips. It's that time of the year. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, well, welcome back. So I'm going to post a lot more of this on the blog so you can see more detail about it. But if you're like me, this time of the year makes you think of a fireplace, you know, getting cozy and staying warm, you know, with the falling temperature. So I just want to go over 10 things that you may not think about to do, but this is mainly for a wood burning fireplace. So the first one, of course, to have an annual chimney inspection. A lot of times we don't see that happening until we sell the house and then you have to have a chimney inspection. So go ahead and do that just so they can see, you know, what's going on to make sure nothing's changed because we don't want anything to happen. And secondly, of course, install a carbon you know monoxide detector and check that every month sometimes we forget about that too but that needs to be checked too and thirdly just ensure that the damper is open you know how we shut it a lot of times so make sure it's open and cleaned out real well and then no wrapping paper so when you're going to light the fire don't put like wrapping paper in it at all because that'll be a problem and then fifth to keep a fire extinguisher on hand sometimes we're thinking oh we don't need that or whatever but it's always great to have one handy even if it's in the kitchen if it's close to the fireplace in case you need it and use dry and aged wood. That's the best, you know, for a wood burning fireplace. And keep it short. The maximum, you know, it's not supposed to heat the whole house. Of course, if the electricity go out, we need it sometimes. But as a whole, it's like five hours is max. So don't just keep it burning and burning, like, you know, for a longer period of time. And then purchase a fireplace screen and then like a non-flammable rug in front of it. So that keeps it safe and, if, if, you know, if embers start to fall out or something too. And then have a chimney cap installed. When the chimney guy comes inspect it, they could do that as well if that needed to be done. And then don't forget the firebox just to keep that cleaned out. So anyways, I hope you love being by the fire as much as we do. So just wanted to go over those tips. And like I said, it'll be more in detail on the bottom. So if you have any other questions about that, if you want to reach out to me or my team for any reason, we'd love to help you. The number is 901-729-9526. Thanks so much. Have a great day.